Hi, continuing on our uh, 11ax topics, uh, I want to talk about spatial reuse and that too uh, at a very basic level to start with. There will be other parts where we will slowly get into the details. My name is uh, Srikant and I am with NanoCell Networks. So a quick thought on what, uh, what is spatial reuse trying to do and for understanding that I thought it's nice to look at what uh, is the current state which the spatial reuse feature is trying to address. So as Wi-Fi has gotten denser in terms of not just number of stations under an access point but also lots of networks all around us sharing the same spectrum, the thought process is uh, the old back off idea which we had during the sparser days of Wi-Fi has to be modified so that transmissions can go on in parallel uh, as long as they don't impede each other. Okay. So today, for example, if one BSS in the certain channel starts, another BSS on the same channel usually will not transmit uh, because we have these thresholds in the standard of, let's say, minus 8 to dBm uh, power levels. But in practice, sensitivity of receivers has improved. So things like minus 95 dBm is what is happening in today's world, which means uh, we are unnecessarily not transmitting to, uh, you know, networks which might be transmitting quite far away. How can we improve this situation is the problem that 11AX uh, posed. So what is uh, at a broad level, what are the thought process? So at a broad level, what Wi-Fi is trying to do is that um, we did this in Wi-Fi where uh, when we wanted to send, we sense the channel. And when we sense the channel, what we did was if we hit a Wi-Fi preamble, we suspend our back off. And we try to decode that frame because it could have some contents for us or at least some information which we have to obey. Now the small fork now is that and we call this as intra BSS and I'll put quotes because there are lots of ideas on how we can classify intra and inter BSS. Um, so when we have inter BSS we can continue the back off. So continue the back off and transmit potentially in parallel. This is the new idea. Okay which solves the problem that we had earlier. Okay. So how do we manage this? That's the question. Of course, lots of new terminology like BSS color okay, and partial BSS ID. So some details we will not get into today. Um, we will see in subsequent parts. But just to think of what this can result in. And before we even get a, a picture, there are two broad ideas for making spatial reuse happen defined in the standard. One is a power based threshold where we look at the power of the other BSS and if it's lower than some value, we can engage in spatial reuse. And the other one is more of a parameter or a more of a opportunistic um, sort of uh, spatial reuse, which we will cover in a different session. So we'll focus most of our discussion here because that's the more generic form which came first to the standards and likely to be implemented widely under all sorts of conditions. So this is what spatial reuse tries to achieve. What does it try to achieve? Uh, while one of the BSS is transmitting, uh, as long as the power level seen from that BSS at the other BSS transmitter is low enough, that can also engage in a parallel transmission, something like this. Of course, both of them complete their back offs. Okay? Uh, but whereas earlier we would keep silent and wait for this transaction to be over, now we indulge in this transmission. In this specific case, for example, our threshold from the other BSS was minus 72 dBm, whereas we received minus 76 dBm and we could transmit in parallel. So that's the nice sort of idea. Of course, a lot of questions about what happens if this was here, how do we know that this transmission does not interfere with other. So as I said, lots of details, configuration possibilities, etc. are out there in the standard. We might not be able to explore everything in one shot. Okay, But this is the sort of idea that we can do this. So to help achieve this, what are some new things from a standards perspective? So the first thing, as I said, we have terminology like BSS color, okay, which can be included in the FI header of 11AX PPDUs for early detection. We have ideas of spatial reuse groups, which can be used to configure for different thresholds for different groups. Okay. And the idea is that once you detect this early, uh, you can continue your back off and then you can transmit in parallel. Okay. Of course, with 
some safety applied and so on and so forth. But at least this is the idea which spatial reuse tries to get off the ground. Now it is one thing to transmit but what the standard also brings to the table is something saying that you can't transmit as you wish when you do spatial reuse. If you receive your other BSS at minus 70 dBm and your threshold says you can transmit, you can't transmit as much power as you wish, you are capped at 15 dBm. Okay? Or if you are looking at minus 72, then some other value which might be minus 16, 70 dBm. So this is the standard saying that you can't do things as you wish from a transmit perspective. You will have to obey certain things so that uh, some safety is also provided in this spatial reuse mechanism. So to summarize, spatial reuse allows us to transmit in parallel where another Wi-Fi transmission is going on, but with some rules added where we are hopefully not going to be disturb, disturbing them and a lot of configuration possibilities uh, which we will try and explain in the subsequent slides. Okay? So as usual, uh, thanks for listening and please look at our website for more information. Thank you.